Here at the Institute of Psychiatry, I've agreed to take part in a unique medical trial designed to find out. It's part of their ongoing research into the link between stronger cannabis and psychosis. The scientists are interested in the effects of the ratio between the two main components of cannabis, THC and cannabinoid. So on one day, I'm being injected with pure THC, something like ultra-high potency skunk. On the other day, I get a mixture of THC and cannabinoid, more like the natural makeup of the cannabis plant. When I get the injections, I don't know what I'm getting. It turns out that this one is a mixture of THC and cannabinoid. After 10 minutes, it hits me. <laughs> With the THC and cannabinoid, no matter how hard I try to take the experiment seriously, it all seems hilarious. Get something a bit softer than that. <laughs> what does it feel like? It looks very enjoyable. My God, it's fun! It was amazing. Amazing. With the pure THC, it's a different story. It's horrible. It's like being at a funeral. Worse. It's sort of like, um, it's just so depressing. You'd want to, um, top yourself. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of morbid. After 15 minutes, I begin a series of psychological tests designed to measure whether I've become psychotic, and if so, how severely. I feel agitated. No. On the THC and cannabinoid mixture, I seem really flippant. On this drug, I just don't care. I'm experiencing profound insights. Bollocks. I'm worried the state of mind won't end. I don't want it to end. This experience is frightening. Strong. I feel agitated. Yeah. I do. I do. But with the pure THC, I'm suspicious, introverted, weird. Every question seems to have a double meaning. Trouble is, my attention's like really so massively into s s just a word or something. It's like, but not in a happy, it's like in a morbid, morbid. Is, that's how I feel, morbid. It's an anxiety. It's like an, it's like a panic attack. Do you know what I mean? It's like uh, you ask me a question. I'm thinking. I don't know the answer. I'm just one of many volunteers taking part in this trial. The doctors are hoping to answer some of the really important questions about cannabis and psychosis. For example, do people react differently to exactly the same dose of THC? And can cannabinoid reduce the psychotic effect of THC? It certainly made me uncontrollably giggly. Two hours later, the effects have worn off. So just how psychotic did I get? The psychiatrists use a standard test which measures changes in psychotic symptoms. And on the first day you scored one, first, your change from baseline to the peak experience was one, which is insignificant. Above four is thought to be clinically significant. Above four would be what you might expect in schizophrenic psychosis and you scored 14 on the second day so you were really quite persecuted and really uh, it felt quite unpleasant. Um, I scored 14? Um, An increase of 14 points on pure THC was very high and suggests that the new breeds of skunk can play havoc with your mind. But with no history of mental illness and no predisposition to schizophrenia, I was at no long-term risk.